Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be looking at how to set up a basic multi-track recording in Adobe Audition. So very simply, very quickly, um, all you need to do is come up to File, come across to New and then click on Multi-Track Session. Now you do have a couple of options here, one of those is Audio File and one of those is Multi-Track Session, the other of course here is CD Layout. We're going to ignore this one. Audio File is audition asking you do you want to set up a session that is just one audio file so if that's what you're going for then click that one instead okay now if you're planning on recording multiple tracks i.e multi-track then it's going to be multi-track session that you want to click so if we go ahead and click that one then all you need to do is title your session so let's call this uh, session mt so multi-track Folder location, uh, that will be specific to your machine. Um, so make sure that's a place that you want to save your um, your file. And then we have the template uh, section down here. So we've got a drop down here. If we go ahead and click that one, Audition has a basically a bunch of templates that um, depending on your end use or what you're planning on recording, um, may or may not be helpful. So if you're planning on recording lots of different tracks, uh, such as um, for a music uh, session. So if you're planning on recording some music, then 24 tracks may be the one that you want to go for. Uh, similarly, if you're planning on doing a film sequence, so you've got some uh, music or some sound that you're trying to put together um, in surround sound, then this is going to save you a little bit of time. Uh, then we have the obvious other ones, which are things like podcasts. If we go ahead and click that one, you'll notice that the sample rate, bit depth and mix all just got grayed out okay and that's because despite the fact that we see lots of podcasts on socials these days um, the sample rate for audio uh, for music and for just gem, you know, general audio listening is uh, a minimum of 44 100 bit depth 16. so if, if podcast is what you want to go for and you know it's just going to be easy for audio uh, then check this it's great it's got some presets in it uh, that will allow some ducking and stuff like that similar to the radio voiceover so you can you know automatically have some sessions some tracks built uh, to duck the music every time you hear the host talking uh, but if this is not you and you're not sure uh, go ahead and click none that's what i'm going to do for today's example um, now if you are planning on syncing any of this to video uh, then i would suggest that you change this to 48 um, hertz and above 48,000 hertz and above um, just because you're going to get less sync issues if you try to sync this with uh, any video. Okay, uh, bit depth. Now, again, the drop down 16 um, is, is totally fine. Uh, great for just audio formats. Uh, for slightly better quality, 24. Um, and if you have some specific um, software or hardware uh, that can use 32, then go for it. It is going to make your file sizes bigger. Um, but what this tends to be used for is uh, limiting um, things like uh, distortion. So if um, if you record it on like um, some lapel mics and you recorded it in a 32-bit format, uh, you may have stopped it from you know actively distorting the audio. Um, if you know you've used that, go ahead, use that. That's fine. 24 is probably fine. Most software, most hardware is still using 24, um, and the quality is is great. Um, so there's not really much need to change that usually. Uh, but you'll know if that's you. Okay, so mix is the final drop down. We've got mono, we've got stereo, and we've got 5.1. 5.1, if you're mixing, uh, say something for a, like a TV show, film show, or that's where you're planning on sending something to a film festival, that's probably the one that you want, okay? Uh, and again, 48 would be the minimum requirement usually for that kind of thing. Uh, stereo file, if you're recording, you know, um, You've got some like, two mics set up on a single instrument, uh, let's say a piano, for example, and you've got one mic on input one, one mic on input two. Um, you could just record it as a stereo pair. Um, again, it's very dependent on the situation, um, but that's what you can use that for. Uh, mono um, is where you've got one input and one microphone usually going in one direction. Um, that that's, tends to be what you use that for. For this, I'm going to just demonstrate mono, but you can change this after you've selected this, so it's, it's not too big a deal if you change this. Uh, a bit harder if you want to go to 5.1 though. 
Okay, so once you're happy with your save settings, go ahead and click OK. And then you get this editor window as a default in Adobe Audition, very similar to the Premiere Pro um, edit window that, that pops up. Okay, so track one, track two, three, four, five, and six. We can use the mouse uh, wheel to zoom in and out of this uh, or the buttons down here as well. Okay, if we zoom into track one, uh, what you can see here is we've got an arrow that goes to the right and then we've got an arrow that goes to the left. The arrow that goes to the right indicates input uh, and we can change the input there. The arrow that goes to the left is mix and that means that it's going to go to this track down here which is labeled mix. So before it goes to your headphones, this is where it's going. Okay, a bit like a bus stop. Okay, so uh, if we go back to track one, if you want to change the names, by the way, just click, call this host, um, and we'll call this one, we'll call this one guitar. Okay, so the first one here, so we know we know that we've got this mix uh, track down the bottom. This is where everything's going to. This button here, the input, is where we choose uh, which microphone we are using to record on this particular track. Okay. So we've got mono, we've got stereo, and if you've got anything else or you want to change the settings, click on the audio hardware button. It just opens up the audio settings for Adobe Audition. Okay, so I'm using just a basic um, audio interface, just only got two inputs, but it's fine, it gets the job done. If you, you know, like I said, if you're recording stereo, uh, what it will probably do is default to um, just going to input one here. So it's only really gonna record input one. Uh, but if you want it to, if, if you've got a microphone that's got multiple microphones joined in, for example, like the Yeti, some of the Yeti microphones uh, will have multiple microphones and so you can record multiple directions at the same time, you may want to click stereo here. Uh, for me, I've got two different inputs. I've got input one, and I've got input two. My voice is coming through input one, so that's what I want to record on there. So I'm going to switch this to mono, click on input one. Then to check that I've got some signal coming through, if I click the record input enable, you can see that every time I talk, the levels here are jumping up. Okay. Now I've got a guitar. So what I'm gonna do is come over to um, the guitar track now. So this is track two, but I've renamed it guitar. And then I'm gonna switch this one over to mono and then input two. So that's the other input on my audio interface. Okay, now I'm just going to plug in my guitar. Okay, so I've plugged in my guitar and then same thing again, click the record enable button. And if I play a chord really quickly, you can see that it's jumping up there. You'll also see it on the other microphone as well because uh, it's picking up the guitar because it's an acoustic guitar. Okay, so once you've got those two things, you've got your input sorted, you know it's going to mix. Um, then all we need to do to record is come down to the bottom, click this record button here. Great, now if I start to play something on my guitar. Great, just a nice E chord there. And then you can see on the top track there, it's still got just my voice coming through. Okay, once you're happy, just click stop and let's unplug the guitar again. Okay, and then once you're happy with recording, you can uncheck the record monitoring button there, record enable button, uh, and that's all there is to it. And then all you need to do is just double check what you've recorded. You can do that using the solo buttons. If I just play from here. Great, and spacebar to stop. And that sounds great. And same for the, uh, the the dialogue, as it were. Great, just a nice E chord there. And then you can see, great, and you've got my voice coming through on that track as well. So if I wanted to record, you know, two things at the same time from different inputs, very simple, just select the right input uh, up here. Make sure it's all going to mix or wherever you want to send it, uh, which is this track, of course, down here. And as it, can, as it tells you there, it's going to output as well. So default output. You can also see the uh, uh, the screen capture output there as well. Um, and that's that's all there is to it. Um, so that's how you record just a basic setup for how to record a multi-track session in 
debut audition. Now one little extra here is if you come to window and you come down to essential sound, uh, this will be familiar to people who use Premiere Pro. Um, you can then select or tag um, the different audio that you've inputted. So this I would call music. The top track here, uh, you just click on it to highlight it. I'd call dialogue or vocals, depending on you know what you want to call it. Uh, and then you can use this to, you know, um, do some ducking, for example. So you can check this, and then it will duck against the dialogue. Um, and you can change the sensitivity and all this kind of stuff. So if that's something that you're kind of looking how to do, um, there's the settings to do it really, really quickly. Um, just, just so you know. Okay, um, there we go, guys. That's how to set up a basic multi-track recording in Adobe Audition. Any questions uh, or any sort of um, wanderings, send me a, a message um, and I'll try and get back to you fairly quickly. Um, otherwise, thanks for watching.